If this summer's brutal temperatures don't convince you to take climate change seriously, then you're probably not going to be convinced. The irony is here that most of the climate change deniers are conservatives, and many conservatives live in the South, where the temperatures are extreme this year. But some people will deny climate change until the bitter end, and the end will be bitter. The reality right now is that the middle of this country is suffering record droughts in record temperatures, adding fuel to devastating fires. One summer doesn't prove climate change. We know this. However, it does validate the predictions made by climate scientists. I read an article the other day by one former skeptic who writes, my total turnaround in such a short time is the result of careful and objective analysis. But the climate change deniers don't want us to listen to the studies of careful and objective analysis. They want us to focus on what Fox News has to say about the myths of climate change. Or Rush Limbaugh will probably tell you that the temperature itself is a hoax. There is one insidious aspect to this climate change gamble, and that is especially if you are young. Okay? Pascal had a wager back in the 17th century about whether or not he should believe in God. He realized he couldn't prove that God exists, but he ought to believe just in case. If we apply Pascal's wager to climate change, we can understand that either climate change is real, as the scientists have been telling us, or it's a myth, the way Fox News is telling us. And we can decide whether we want to act and try and do something about it, or not, and hope for the best. Here's the sad reality. First of all, if we don't act, and it is a myth, we've lost nothing. If we do act, and it is a myth, then it has cost us a little. However, we know about the other effects on the environment too, so the cost of trying to transition to clean energy is going to be beneficial even if global warming is a myth. If we do act and it turns out that global warming is real, we can potentially avert a disaster. However, if we don't act, and it turns out that global warming is real, and you're in the next generation, it's your loss. This is why I say it's so insidious, because the people who are denying it and not doing anything about it are in the older generation. They're not going to pay the real cost your generation is going to pay the real cost. If they're not going to do anything about it until it's too late, and you don't want them to wait that long, then it's up to you to do something. What can you do? You can put pressure on your legislators, but we know that the Republicans are the major deniers of climate change, so they're probably not going to do anything about the problem. They're going to make it worse and pass it on to you. You can try and put pressure on the Democrats and hope that they will be able to exert enough authority, pressure, to do something about it. But if you think that they can be trusted to solve this problem on their own, well, look at what they've done to your public education system. If you want more on this, and other issues, 
join us at AdvocatingDemocracy.com.